Yeah, I was wondering, what is your background? Because your surname is Friedberger, yeah. and your uh, grandmother, uh, she was Greek. Greek, yeah. So, what is? My mother's family is Greek, and but but from Chicago. Uh -huh. I mean, our mother's what? Third gen. Second. Second generation. Okay, Greek. Okay. And then our father's English. Oh, Englishman this. called Friedberger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not no, very was, common. No, so I was thinking maybe German roots, I don't know, but... Well, they're German from a hundred and from... I thought they were Austrian. No, no, they're from the Rhineland from... Uh, Why did tell me that they're Austrian? That's what they said. That was the so thing. it's a lie? Yeah, it's a lie. <laughs> they were, you know, yeah, German. Julius Friedberger. Okay. That's came, to, <laughs> came to Britain. Okay. And, um... Well, did you did you get some some Greek music while growing Greek up? Greek music? Yeah, no. Oh yeah, all the time. Well, we had to go to church, you know. Uh, I I don't know how often, you know, but that was where well, we heard uh, we, Greek the most, you know, our, because our, the whole service was in Greek. Well, our grandmother was quieter, so we'd hear the we'd go through the service, you know, we'd hear the, but then she would play. There'd always be the Greek, you know, sort of tango. They always sound like tangos to me. And and sertaki, I think it's called. The sertaki? Sertaki? Yeah, no, no, no. I don't know. Well, Sorry. the uh, all these different 20s tunes, okay. half of them would were kind of French and tango influenced, and then half would be very, would be Greek with these strange time signatures. So I'd try to play along on the bass when my grandmother was playing. I couldn't, and I couldn't do it. I just wanted to go one, two, three, four, like this. Okay, yeah, yeah. But so they were, I was always mystified by the actual Greek songs, except for the real poppy, romantic ones would be easy. But our grandmother was always playing, always be playing the piano. So Greek songs, easier classical things, and, you know, English music hall, Gilbert and Sullivan and stuff. So she would always be playing that. But did, you, did, you, did you like the Greek music? Because I... I can imagine while growing up you don't like the music that your well your parents listen to, but even your grandma. I don't know. Did you did you like it or the Greek music? Was, I mean, my, I can remember going. My grandmother would take me to see. You know, we saw the King and I and uh, Annie and I mean, I don't remember hearing all the Greek music so much. As, I was scared of the church music. I thought that was really yeah. Well, the uh, menacing and I intimidating. Didn't, the, the the Greek, you know, the uh, Good Friday. Uh, music in the Greek church right before Easter is yeah. very, I, it's very striking. Cause, and I remember well because the whole congregation is meant to sing along in these refrains. So that was the only bit of the church music I liked, but that's, it's very striking and Byzantine sounding. And then the, uh, the, the Greek pop songs I hated until I was, remember being 16 thinking, no, obviously this music is interesting. <laughs> I was stupid before. I like the, Demis, the, Demis Roussos or? The, the, no, no. The, just just the simple pop songs, and then I didn't, you know, the Theodore Ikes and stuff like that. We never heard until much later. Until much later, because my grandmother didn't really like, didn't like that. That wasn't music that you played on the piano, the sheet music. She would play simply, she play songs, art, sometimes art songs, but so we didn't hear that as a kid at all. The proper Greek, you know, '60s troubled times pop music but until later. But how was it to work with her on my? <coughs> oh, her. It was very easy <laughs> to work with her because you know we know her so well, so it was easy to for me to know what to give her and how I could how how far how hard she would work and what she would like to do. So it was very smooth because all that stuff you don't even think about it. If someone you know so well, you know what they're going to be able to want, what they're going to want to do, and what they're not going to want to do. So. In Didn't the same way that Matt and I work together, yeah? it's, it's, it's very and how? similar. Matt's a great manipulator, in a good way. Um.